So, yesterday, or the day before, I don't know, I'm not really keeping up, the Contraptions DLC dropped. Oh. The detective's life um, isn't an easy one. And Rarely I just want to do like a quick cycle. overview, or um, kind of a first impression video really, of some of the things that came in this DLC, how they could be used, how I'm using them, and I've built a couple of things um, just as placeholders to kind of show you some of the basic kind of shit you can do. So, the first thing I just want to talk about is decoration. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the stuff that they released in this DLC. There's definitely going to be a good chunk that I miss. But, just the things that really strike me. So the first thing, these posters. I love these things. These are so good. And I should also say that seeing the trailer for Contraptions, all the like rolling ball stuff, um, wait, what do you call it? The, um, you should do your research, Samuel. You bloody built something with it. Uh, da -da -da -da. This stuff, the ball track crap. Seeing that in the trailer, I wasn't really interested. But the elevators and the armor stuff and weapon stands, that's cool. Now, these, I didn't even really know that anything like this was going to be part of it, but posters, very cool. There's some of the ones that you have to hook directly to the main. I'm not really into that. Clock, very nice. <laughs> but there's all kinds of designs. Um, so if you go into decorations. Uh, wall decorations. So yeah, so it's all these posters, which is pretty nice, you know. It's a pretty cool addition, addition, I should say. So <clears throat> that's that. Now if we just pop in here. Armor stands, very cool. Liking it a lot. You'll see. I've got my Duke and Jive poster uh, next to my Duke and Jive jukebox. But yeah, armor racks, so good. Skyrim had these. These should have been with Fallout at launch. I do not understand why they weren't. It only makes damn sense. I love these things. Um, I don't think there's anything else in here relevant, but if we pop through here, I can show you some of the shit I've been doing with stands. So, we've got Silver Shroud armor with Silver Shroud um, <clears throat> posters and the silver submachine gun which is on a, a gun rack which interestingly you can put as you can see there diagonally in the corner of a wall which is kind of interesting then we've got like grognak stuff over here and mechanist whatever so I have to say that the decoration stuff is really good really really good I like it a lot um, I don't they haven't really added anything to flags. I don't think there's anything with mounted creatures. For the most part, um, it's just with these posters and some other stuff. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Nothing in this tab, apparently. But anyway, <laughs> um, if we, I'll just take a quick shortcut here. If we go to a different place, I can show you more of the weapon stuff. So, <clears throat> this is, I gotta say, this is fucking awesome. So, to start off with, these little things right here, and you'll notice you can't knock the weapons off, but these are for, you know, the bigger guns in the game, the heavy weaponry. So, what I've done in here, I don't know if I like it, this was just a kind of quick thing that I've set up to try and, you know, show you guys what you can do. So, um, got my heavy weapons. Now these wall racks, you can only put one gun on them, so like, these small gun ones look kind of funny, but these ones are cool, I like them a lot. Um, there is a smaller uh, rack you can use for like, handguns or whatever, but I I've just used those for the time being. So medium weapons, heavy weapons, and smaller weapons. Um, and a note, swords and things have to go on the, uh, including like daggers, like the Pikmin's blade, have to go on the medium one, which is a little annoying. Um, you've also got these storage cases. Now these are very nice. For some reason, I don't know if I'm just being a dingus, but I can't see them put the cryolator on the heavy or the medium ones. I haven't tried on the small ones, but I really don't think that the on there. 
But I've just put it in this display case and there's a whole bunch of these. Some of them look worn out. You know, you see them all over the game. So I think that's very cool. And, you know, it's safe in there. Uh, and it's powered. It's got a light in the back, you can just see there. Um, it doesn't offer a lot of light, though, which is a shame. So if I take this away... I mean, it's daylight, so... Eh, what am I doing? Anyway, <clears throat> that's that. Uh, I don't believe... Oh, fishing stuff. I don't believe there's anything else of a note um, that I can show here. We did get... Now, finding this is going to be... A Oh, actually, no, I know where it is. Um, if we go to decorations, to displays. So you got the armor racks, this, but you've also got power armor stands. Um, these have to be directly powered as well, but they have a light in. And this is a cool new way to store your power armor. I don't think it works to mod it, but, you know, you can, like, I, I can put one back here, and they come in all kinds of different colors, which is very cool. Um, and... I'm impressed, Bethesda. I'm impressed. Also, I like they've got male and female armor racks. That's cool. Um, so, that's that. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Now, let's check out one of the things I was excited about. Elevators. Now, what I've built here um, for this elevator is just a very simple thing. Um that I've kind of tagged onto a pre-existing structure I built to hold my power armor. So, it's it just looks, it's, you know, I'm going to scrap it and build something properly um, and, and come up with whole new ideas, which I'll show if anyone's actually interested. My general thought process uh, with this DLC, when I first looked at what it uh, contained, when I got it, I was like, this has a lot more in it than I was expecting, which is obviously very much welcome. Um, I was really just thought it was mostly going to be gimmicky shit, but turns out I was wrong. So, elevators. Um, you'll see this kind of looks like a mess, but I've just designed it this way so I can kind of show you some things. First things first, you can clip in the tab, you've got some of these railings, right? Like this, and you can clip them on the sides to stop you walking off. But you can also, interestingly, use walls. Now, I like that a lot. There is one issue, which is that there's a gap there because the elevators, each floor is slightly higher uh, than um, a regular wall of, you know, concrete or metal or whatever it would be. But I have got some ideas of ways around this that I might try out. But the elevator itself, so. Um, let me press this button here to get it back down to the level. There are two floor, three floor, and four floor elevators. So, as you can see here, there's floor number two, and I'll come up to here. And, like, wooden floors or metal floors, whatever, they directly snap to the elevator, which is really nice, uh, I love that, and it's pretty fine and dandy if you ask me. So, if we go to floor number four, we come up here, and this I've attached to the scaffolding, now I'll talk about that in a second, and just a basic kind of thing, so I can get into here, which is where I hold all my power armor, you know. Now, it's not actually properly attached to the building or anything, <laughs> hence me falling off. The scaffolding, now... I will say that the scaffolding seems to snap together nicely, but it doesn't like uh, snapping to other materials very much. You see, you've got some prefabs here, which to be honest, I probably should have used. But one of the things I found was that kind of irritated me is that I want a piece that's that width but shorter, and there isn't one. You do have some shorter pieces. Uh, like this one here, but you can see that it's wider, which I don't want. It's a square. Now, I have that as a criticism, but these ramps and things are very nice. Very nice indeed. I like this a lot. This is something that we kind of wanted. And then you've got a whole bunch more stairs, which I'll probably not use. So that's nice. You've also got 
this, which, frankly, in my mind, came out of fucking nowhere. Warehouse stuff. Now, the barn stuff took me by surprise. This is really weird. But, I'm going to show you some of the stuff you can do with that if we just take a quick jog to the slog. Now, I'll actually go more in depth in future videos, perhaps on how to build stuff, uh, particularly probably around the scaffolding and the elevators. Also, this video obviously isn't scripted or anything, so I'm waffling. Uh, I've only been playing this DLC for a few hours, so I don't actually have that good a handle on it. This is literally just my first impressions based upon the things that um, I've seen. But we're going to get into some of the more complicated things in a minute, though I have built something fairly what? rudimentary. <laughs> oh! Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is, this is oh, real oh, good. Yeah. That's not really what I wanted to see, but whatever. So, we're here at the slog. Okay, let's just ignore this <laughs> contraption for a minute. And... Oh my god. More gunners. Really? Really? I'm trying to film a video here. No more gunners. I don't need no shit. And oh, you've got a minigun! Look at you! Look at you! Legendary gunner. Wow, he's actually blocking me. Yeah. Yeah, I should have been able to do it. I just wanted to not do this to me. Block the shots. Yeah, thank you. Okay, that's over. Fucking hell, this game. So, as look at all the blood on my screen. I'm trying to make a video about the contraptions workshop. Bastards. So, how many times have I said that in this video? Probably too much. This little thing here is part of the barn, uh, not barn, what am I saying? Part of the Urrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
to different heights, uh, so you could use them as walkways and platforms. You could probably build a wall for your settlement using these. Now, as you can see, power doors, and I'm assuming other kinds of doorways, snap very nicely to them. So, I hit the switch. A that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I think you can make little bases, um, little, you know, buildings, houses, all kinds of stuff. So that's very cool. And also, a bit like concrete, walls will snap to the outside. Obviously, you can snap them with this. So, if you don't like the look of this, you can cover it up, basically. Which I think is very cool. Uh, props to Bethesda for actually kind of doing that. Okay. Now, I guess the meat and potatoes of what the trailer I showed, at least, for this DLC was this crap. So, you've got the ball tracks and you've got the conveyor belts. Now, like I say, I'm not really all that interested in any of this crap. I think it's cool that they would put it in, um, but ultimately, I don't know, it, it, it doesn't interest me all that much, right? But, I thought I should show you exactly kind of some of the shit you can do with it. So, this is very simple, I haven't even bothered to make it look like it's structurally sound or any of that crap. I'm gonna just, like, reload a previous save and it won't even be here anymore. This is purely so I can fall down, apparently. No, this is purely so I can demonstrate a kind of really basic idea. So, steel ball. Put it down here. Steel ball rolls around down this track. When it hits this, that activates the power. The ball is going to go down here and get stored. This one is going to go into an elevator, which will take the stuff down here into this cannon, which if I do this, will fire stuff out. Pretty cool, huh? And just to prove it to you, if I go back over here, apparently, oh, it hasn't got there yet. Just, just take your time. Just, just take your time. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not like the shitty PS4 can only record for, for a few minutes. Yes, I am going to complain about that in every video. There we go. So, um, there are ones that turn on for a limited period of time. Um, I just used this one for ease at the time. However. Uh, you don't actually have to do it again to get it to turn off. You can literally... What we're saving. You can literally... Do that. And it'll turn off. Pretty cool. Um, originally, this was a, a less complex. Uh, initially, my plan was just that the ball would come down and get loaded into the uh, gun and fired out. But apparently, it really doesn't... Even though these are junk... It doesn't like to fire them out. Don't know why. It happily fired out that minigun you saw. But this, no, apparently not. Don't get it. But whatever. Overall, I would say that this is... Is it better than Wasteland Workshop? That's hard to say because I think concrete is the best building material we've been given. And it's incredibly useful. And some of the other stuff was pretty cool in that. I think in terms of decorating, this is incredibly strong as a DLC. I like it a lot. Um, for people who are more sappy than I am, because I didn't even go into a lot of the crap that you can do, there's, you know, all kinds of electronics that are beyond me at this point, but I'll learn and maybe I will build something, but for now I'm not that interested. So for a lot of people, I think that's going to be kind of cool. And I'm sure there's going to be crazy, crazy contraptions that people are going to build. But for me, in the UK, this is £3.99, which to me is just so cheap for what it is. And the sheer amount of stuff you're given. I didn't even touch on a lot of it, like I say. But between what I've shown you just in this video, warehouses, boxcars, the contraption these shit, the elevators, and the decorative stuff, armor stands, weapons uh, racks, I think that's all really, really cool. And well worth the money. Well worth it. So it gets it gets a solid, you know, 9 out of 10 from me. 
now you can expect future videos, I would think, where you can see some of the random crap that I've built with this. But for now, I shall just say TT.